I never graduated high school and I'm more successful now that I did that than I would have ever been had I stayed. Now, obviously that's not for everybody, but I knew high school wasn't for me. I was sick of people not taking learning seriously. I was sick of teachers that seemed to have lost love for their career. I was sick of being held back when I wanted to learn more and more. As I was entering my junior year of high school, my boyfriend at the time who was just starting college had told me about something called the CHSPE, the California High School Proficiency Exam. Now he had known about it because he, his mom, his dad, and his sister were all models and actors. And that was something that somebody could take, which is an equivalent of the GED, so that they can work doing acting, modeling, and everything like that. So I presented that to my parents. I said, hey, I don't want to just get out of high school. I want to go to college. I want to start my life. I feel like I'm being held back. I want to work. I want to go to school. I want to go places that people actually care about what they're doing. So that's what I did. I took the California High School Proficiency Exam and I started going to Orange Coast College in Costa Mesa, California when I was 16 years old. I chose my major immediately because I knew I wanted to be a psychiatrist. That's all I cared to be. As you know, California is the cheapest place to live. I was working three jobs while going to college. Now, because I was working those three jobs in order to maintain my one bedroom apartment, I couldn't take a full semester every single semester. I could only do three, sometimes four classes when I really wanted to do five or six. So I was just starting my third year of community college, so close to my AA when I got a call. My biological dad's dad. I was adopted at birth, but that's a different story. He told me that he owns a private investigation business and one of his employees wants to buy the business. And he was considering selling, but wanted to ask me if it's something I'd want to inherit before he sold. I considered it, but PI isn't really what I ever expected to do. But for whatever reason, I decided I needed to call somebody very random, my biological mother. We weren't close, I only spoke to her probably once or twice a year at that, but for whatever reason I felt led to call her at that moment. I asked her what she thought. She told me, and I remember very clearly, well, if you're going to take over a business, you need to put 100% of yourself into it if you're going to own it. Let's fly you out to Virginia and go over your options, maybe see what I do, and figure out what's best for you. So I did. She flew me out literally two weeks later, and I fell in love with Virginia. I get back after my 10 day stay here and immediately put my two weeks notice in everywhere. I drop out of my college and I move here to Virginia and I've been here for almost 10 years. I don't have any student debts because every single semester I paid out of my pocket, but then I didn't even get my AA, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because everything that I learned in my psychology classes, I utilize today. It's not about the degree, it's about the knowledge for me. I'm so grateful for every step that got me here. I'm so grateful for my parents trusting me to letting me get that CHSPE so that I could pursue better things in my life. I'm so grateful that my grandparents offered something to me even though I expressed no interest in it. I'm grateful that my biological mom answered my phone call and sales talked me to moving out here. I am grateful for everything and I love what I do. I'm Madison Mason, I'm a real estate broker here in Hampton Roads, Virginia. I love what I do and I was made to do it.